Hey, I'm JC Frias. I'm from Texas, living in Utah, with my partner of three years and our pets. I love hosting dinner parties and gatherings, and enjoy making everything look adorable in my home. Join me on learning some tips of doing it yourself and being creative. Hey everyone, how's it going? JC here and Winston is um, hanging out with me today and I'm going to show you guys my spring bedroom that I'm super excited about. It's just a short, short clip of my bedroom and some of the stuff I changed out for my spring bedding. Um, if you've been following my videos, I showed you like my summer one and then my winter bedding and this is my spring bedding that I'm in love with and then all the little knickknacks that I changed around my room. Somehow I feel if you switch out all those little knickknacks and even just your bedding, your sheets, it just feels like a whole new home, one, and two, you can feel the season or you feel you're in spring. Especially here in Utah where it's still snowing, we had a snowstorm like two days ago, over it. So for my kitchen and dining room, you can look into my bedroom and see these awesome bookshelves that I am in love with. And I'm always decorating them and changing them. And this is my bedroom. Up here, I just have a lot of green. So as soon as you walk in, you see tons of green, tons of spring. Up on top, I have bird nests, with little eggs, birdies. And you're going to see that theme throughout my whole room, especially like that teal blue. Down here I have these silver frames and inside of them, an easy tip is cut out pictures from shopping bags. This was from Nordstrom's from last Christmas and I think it looks very spring with that green and that white that I love. Also, if you look more down towards my shelf, I have a lot of the this teal color going on with these birdhouses. And then down here I have some more green with Easter eggs and down below some more green. So I think the trick for spring is having a lot of green botanicals throughout your home or in your bedroom. Starting from the top again, I bought these green topiaries from Pottery Barn that I absolutely love. And then I have more birds. My theme is totally birds and you'll see it throughout my whole bookshelf and my room and my house. And those are my spring bookshelves. Moving on. For my spring bedding, I wanted to do all white pillows and then the three front pillows with accents. So I had this um, awesome duvet that has this white square and then this teal color. And then I added all my white pillows and added these little pillows with the little rabbit for Easter. And this one I got from World Market, the one with the nest and the eggs. And I think that looks perfect in the room. I also put a tray on there. On the bed, I think it just makes it look fancy and quaint and like someone lives in here. And I tied in that teal with those eggs that are up there on that pillow. And again, all my white pillows that have different textures. On my nightstand, I kept it very basic with this white picture and I added this white little rabbit, which brings in that spring once again. On the opposite side of my room or of the bed, I have this little table with this book I got and I get to put my remotes and hide Again, out of sight, out of mind. So I'm one of those people that loves sitting in bed and watching TV. So I have this little table up here. On the side I have a chair tying in that chevron teal color. And then on the table I added some botanicals. I added these hydrangeas and this picture that I got from Home Goods. It was like 10 bucks last year. So look for the cells. And on this side I have this little egg which I will show you guys how to do out of Mod Podge and paper. And I'm having a video coming out this week with it, so stay tuned and check it out. Once again, when you are changing seasons, change out the images in your frames. It really makes a difference. I found this postcard from Janet Hill. She's an artist. It is amazing, I'm in love with her, and I feel like it ties in with the other quote behind that says, what a lovely day, those colors just pop and kind of add to the whole room. On this wall, I have these cute frames that I bought today with the little birdies in them as well, and that antique shabby chic look.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this short clip of just different ideas that you can do in your home just to funk it up and feel the Easter season. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked my video. And also check me out on Facebook. I do post stuff there. And I would love um, your feedback. And if you do any of this stuff or if you feel inspired, please post a photo on my Facebook so I can check it out. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Winston.